Hey guys, my name is Alan here with the video crew at Fireball Tool, and we have a big problem. See this backpack here? This is the Easy Rig Vario 5 backpack, and we want to attach our main camera to this backpack rig for stabilization. However, this camera does not meet the minimum weight requirement for this rig. Let me show you an example. I get the spring clamp here. As I fasten the spring clamp, instead of holding it in place, it just keeps going up. So you see we have this problem with the camera being too light for this backpack rig. We need to change that. We also need the camera to be at head height, but want our arms to remain at a 90 degree angle for stability and keeping our arms closer to our bodies. We are going to need to add some weight to this camera. We're going to make a custom weighted base plate to attach to the bottom of this camera, but it also needs to function as an adapter. We want to use these handles that we already have, so let's make these handles more useful. You cannot find this part anywhere else, so we have to make it. I want to use the Mach 500, but it's too intimidating to use, so I'm going to use the Wazer Pro water jet. First, I know I'm gonna need some metal. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, this looks good. Now I'm gonna put this into the water jet. She ain't going nowhere. All right, looks like we're good to go. Now we're gonna start cutting. All right, while this thing cuts, I'm gonna go and edit. Okay, we're done. That was way faster than I expected. Clean that off. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, sir. All right, now to polish this thing up, we're gonna put in the Mr. Deaver machine. All right, let's put the sucker in. A few minutes later. All right, let's see how it's doing. All right, now that it's done deburring, Jason came back to the shop and I asked him to help tap some holes for me. He went to the mill machine to drill, tap, and chamfer the holes for this adapter plate. And just like that, the parts fit. All right, did a little bit of cleanup. Now let's see how this fits. Just like that. Pretty good. All right, guys, we got the base plate now mounted to the bottom of the camera. And man, it is sturdy and it is looking fantastic. Oh, voila. I move it anywhere and it stays. This adds some flexibility where I can put the handles. That's what you see. There we go. Now I can be free of my hands and still keep it in the same position. I like the 90 degree that we did with the tap holes and now my arms aren't as tight and up in the air. I'm comfortable here near my core. And what's nice about these handles is now I can point down and get closer to my shots while still having the camera stay still. Oh yes, much better. Okay, this seems to be just right. We will see you guys on the next Fireball Tool video.